comes from tryptophan, and it is related to serotonin. Serotonin is converted to melatonin uh, during night, uh, at night, and keeping yourself, getting, making sure that you uh, have enough time spent in the dark is very important for the production of melatonin. That's what I was talking about, Eric. Does that help you out, buddy? Uh, yeah, so you would take it before going to sleep? Absolutely take it before. It'll, if you take it in the middle of the day, it'll make you make you a little bit too sleepy. So, yeah, take it before you go to bed. You want to take about... That, uh, you said that will help digestion as well? It will help improve the digestive process. It's very process, important. Yeah. Yes, it will improve the digestive process. Google melatonin in the digestive system. You'll be amazed what you find out. Okay. Oh, good. Um, and qu- quick, quick side note. When, um, when the blood sugar is uh, elevated... For example, after eating fruit and nuts in the morning right. in a smoothie and stuff, is it, is it um, typical to have a, in the solar plexus area to feel nausea? No, nausea? not typical. It's, that's a sign that there's some kind of malabsorption going on. It's a good thing, though, that you're noticing it because you want to link that to foods and eliminate those foods. It's good that you're noticing that, but okay. it's not normal. Nuts can do it. Uh, nuts, can, uh, nuts can be a real big problem for digestion. Uh, nuts are very allergenic for a lot of folks, especially almonds. Peanuts, which aren't really nuts, but peanuts, almonds, those can be very, very problematic. Cashews can be problems for some people. Brazil nuts for some people. You've got to see how you do. And be careful with roasted nuts. You know, a lot of times you'll see these nuts roasted, or you'll see them even in health food stores. You'll see nuts that are kept in these clear bins. This is not a good idea because nuts are so rich in oils, and light is the enemy of oils. Oxygen is the enemy of oils, and heat is the enemy of oils. So make sure your nuts are in the, in the shell if possible, and uh, make sure that they're not roasted. That's the worst thing you can do to a nut is roast it. Uh, that you, act, you can actually create carcinogenic compounds in the, in the roasting process. Although there is actually some literature that talks about... Increasing the accessibility of nutrients with roasting, I would personally be staying away from any kind of roasted oils or roasted nuts or heated oils. Does that help? Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you so much for calling. All right, uh, let's see. John, help me out here, buddy. Who's next on the line? Hector in Texas. What's going on, buddy? What's going on, Brad? How you doing? Not much. Hey, I just had a question about uh, post-meal and fasting blood sugar levels. I got a hold of a glucometer and we kind of been playing with it. Okay. What would you find out? So what, what number should I be looking for? Well, the ADA says 120 after two hours and fasting under 100 in the morning. That's, Is that uh That's good. Oh, yeah, that's good. good. Yeah, that's real good. That's awesome. That's, okay. that's, what do you eat for breakfast? What do you eat when, when you're, it goes up to 120? What are you typically eating? Uh, I'm, I'm actually not even breaking 100. Oh, you're on the. You're doing great, man. How old are you? Yeah. Uh, 39. That's awesome, Hector. Have you been watching watching what you eat and taking care of yourself for a while? Yeah, yeah, for quite a bit. Generally, for breakfast, I have a cup of beans and four eggs with some spinach. Good job, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Good, good for you. I don't. All right. Cool. Good. I just wanted to see if uh, if you lined up with the ADA or not. With ADA? Yeah, American Diabetic Association. Oh, no. I, the, I, I go by the ADA's figures. Yeah, 120. 120 is the max. You know, they consider you to be a diabetic if you're over 120, but if you're 119, they say you're fine, which tells you how stupid these, that's how, tells you how dumb these tests are. You go to the right. doctor, and he'll test you, and you'll be at 119. He'll go, oh, you're fine. But if you're 120, he'll say, oh, you're diabetic. Here's some medication. Here's some poison right. for you to stay on the rest of your life. 119, you're fine. 120, you're not. That's how dumb these tests are. And that's why you know, I, I tell people not to waste your money on tests. You be the test. Let your body be a laboratory. Eat a food, see how you feel. Have your uh, yeah, eat, eat sugary foods and see how you feel. If you if you're, have hypo, hypoglycemia, if you eat a bunch of sugary foods and then 20 minutes later you feel like you need a nap, chances are you got some problems with your insulin. Your insulin is, is, is being cranked out too much. You may have insulin resistance. Lay off the insulin spiking foods, sugary foods, and see how you feel. And let your body be a laboratory. Don't don't waste your money on tests. Now they got these things called, thank you so much for your call, by the way, Hector. I hope we helped you out. Now we got these, uh, t- these physicians and alternative health care practitioners practicing something they call functional medicine. And this is supposed to be a step in the right direction. Maybe it is, but it's certainly not where you need to be. Functional medicine is where they test you for everything. And then they put your figures up against a reference range, and they see where you fall into this reference range. If you're in the reference range, they say you're good. If you're low or you're high, they say you need to be medicated or you need to be fixed. It doesn't work that way people because these tests are all based on a bell curve and they assume that most people are going to fall into this bell curve and that's where the normal standard is but there's no normal people you could be low you could be high you could be high and you could be healthy you could be low and you could be not healthy it just doesn't work that way 
you've got to see how your particular body responds. Dr. Robert Williams wrote a book uh, many years ago called Bio, uh, Biochemical... Uh, shoot, I forgot the name of it. Biochemical Individuality, where he talks about how everybody's biochemistry is unique. Functional testing and, and regular testing that they do in doctor's offices is a waste of money, in my opinion, a waste of money and a waste of time because we are all biochemically unique. We all have our own biochemical specificity, our own biochemical individuality. Eat a food, see how you feel. If you eat something and you get snotty and you get mucusy and you start sneezing and you get at joint problems, you're allergic to that food no matter what a test tells you. And eliminate that food and you're going to feel better. All right. We've got so much to talk about on the bright side. I'm going to tell you tomorrow about, uh, about where electricity comes from for this electrical train of health. We'll also, uh, hopefully I'll get to how uh, the Mighty 90 fits into this whole model of the electrical train of health. And then I want to get into some letters and some Facebooks that I've gotten over the past couple of weeks, past month or so. Uh, I've got some really interesting notes and I wish I could respond to everybody. And in lieu of that, I'm going to talk about some of these letters that I've received in the air and hopefully help not only the letter writers, but help other folks as well who may be dealing with similar issues. All right, if you want to learn more about the Longevity products, head over to BrightSideBen.com. I'd love to have you on my team. Click on the Join the Team link or call the BrightSide Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Stay tuned for Alex Jones next on most of these stations. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now. Imagine an acne treatment breakthrough that even Proactive says is better than Proactive. Announcing all new Proactive Plus, the revolutionary new way to clear your skin from the number one name in acne care. Proactive Plus is our best, most effective solution ever. And when you call 1-800-721-4255 today, you can have it tomorrow. Proactive Plus is the modern acne miracle that treats your skin beautifully. The plus means more. More precise, targeted medicine for faster, gentler acne prevention. And more skin-loving solutions so your complexion can look bright and beautiful. I am just so happy with Proactive Plus. I don't think my skin has ever looked this good. Call 1-800-721-4255. Be one of the first to try Proactive Plus. Guaranteed 100% risk-free. You won't see this limited-time offer on TV. It's a radio exclusive. 1-800-721-4255. 1-800-721-4255. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653.